let's see this question. We're given sum of two squares equals to this big number, 7865, 7865. And we want to find the sum of those two numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to limit ourselves with positive numbers, all right? And you may derive all the negative numbers or other, you know, accordingly. So we're going to say x, y are positive integers, basically counting numbers. All right, we're going to limit to do this. So now let's factor 7, 8, 6, 8, 5 to see which two numbers square could be this. So first factor is 5, obviously, right? Divided by 5. Then we've got a 1, 5, 7, 3, right? Then we divide by, you have to try a couple of times because I've tried already, so I know 11 is a factor. So divide by 11, we have 1, 4, 3. Then this can be divided by 11 again, or 13. And then this is just 13, because 143 is 11 times 13. So that means this number can be written as a five times 13 times 11 times 11, right? Or 11 squared. So, well, what's five times 13? That's 65. So basically you can write this as 11 squared times 65, multiply, multiply, 65. This 11 squared is already a good, right? You can think of one of the numbers is 11. So let's work on multiplying by 65. So 65, let's write over here. So we have 11 squared times 65. And 65 can be break into 64 because 64 is a square plus one, and one is one square. By doing so, we get 11 square times a square plus 11 square times one. So 11 square times a square can be written as 80 a square plus 11 squared. Okay, so bingo. So one solution is x plus y equals to 80a plus 11, right? which is 99. Well, is there any other possibility? So that's one. Well, 65 can also, can also, let's write here. So 11 squared times 65. 65 is also 49 plus 16, 49 plus 16. And the 49 is a seven squared. 16 is a four squared. So then when we multiply, we get 11 squared times seven squared plus 11 squared times four squared. So that's a 77 squared plus 44 squared. So in that case, x plus y has a second solution, right? So this is the first case, second case. That's a 77 plus 44, which is 121. So yeah, so there are two solutions for this, but only for positive limited with positive integers. Okay, if you want, you may try other, other solutions, non-positive integers.